Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is one of our first games back and I've got a lot of kit to try, namely the Tridos Nano kit that I'm running with my MK23 of course and a primary airsoft HPA to MP5 mag adapter. The HPA will hopefully give me a consistent airflow throughout the temperatures of the year but it'll also allow me to use lightweight MP5 mini mags which give me 70 rounds as opposed to giving me 28 rounds which are in the MK23. In this gameplay it's snipers versus AEGs, now not only do they have a lot more firepower but they are also outnumbering us about 3 or 4 to 1. Their mission is to extract an HVT the whole way up the road and get them to the crossroads. Whilst my team are digging in into defensive positions, I'm pushing forward and hiding right beside the lane that they should be coming up. Now I do have lots of gameplay footage for you guys, but I decided to release this one first as it is all based around tactics. I thought this would be a good gameplay to show you my mind frame within the game. The rest of my team are defensive snipers and have fallen back. My tactics on the other hand is trying to hide in a place that the enemy won't be expecting me. With my team laying down fire, hopefully the opposing team will be too distracted by them to look for me. All I have to do is be patient, stay calm and don't move. This plan would have worked beautifully but unfortunately the enemy team took a different route than what they were briefed with. But oh well, we gotta adapt and overcome. I can either stand up and ask them what's going on or I can just let the game play out and see when is best to attack. With the voices and shooting going on behind me, I'm slowly becoming aware to what has happened. There is a marshal acting as a respawn for the AEG players. The further they push up, the further he moves forward. Since the enemy's movements have changed, I've decided to change my plan also. What I'm going to do is wait for the respawn marshal so I know all the enemy players are in front of me and then I'll attack. With enemies behind me and spawning in front of me, the only thing I can do is stay still. Luckily, not even this marshal spots me. This was valuable information. Not only did the player look over behind me to show me where their last players were, but the respawn marshal also gave away his position. I know the players are now all in front of me, except this one last player who was respawning. I allow him to move forward to get out of my line of sight before I can get up. And sure enough, the respawn marshal appears. I decide it's time to make a move. <laughs> the respawn marshal is right beside us, so that enemy player could technically tag back in and come straight after me. So I'm moving fast to try and find this HVT. I know he's about here somewhere, but the dense woodland is making it very difficult to find him. Oh. 
Whilst my MK23 is silent, the enemy is not. With their cries of being hit, it's only attracted more players. I gotta keep moving. Two stubborn enemies down, but no HVT. I decide to take this hidden tunnel up to a compound where I think the HVT is, always watching my six for more respawning players. I push up the hidden tunnel, only to be met with my teammates looking down on me. It means that the HVT is somewhere back out there. Rather than joining their defence, I decide to turn back and carry on my hunt. Or, at least slow down the advance. Enemy players appear danger close on my right, and it's enough to distract me from the advancing players that take me out. Dead man! Jesus Christ. <laughs> he saved your life, the bro! <laughs> oh well, back in. Once again, rather than defending, I decide to go out on the hunt. It's not long before I meet the advancing enemy. I get eyes on this target, but rather than taking him out straight away, I decide to wait just in case he has a few teammates following him. If I took him out, that would alert his team players, but I wouldn't know about them. I get word that the enemy is pushing up at the crossroads with the HVT, so we decide to fall back and join the defence. This is the last stand, but of course, I decide to go on the attack rather than hold back. I get multiple warnings from my teammates that the enemy are right there, but I can't help but advance. After all, it is the best mode of defense. What is it? That's the crossroads just up ahead where the HVT has to get to. So I decide to plunk myself right on top of it to make sure they don't advance. There's only a couple of minutes left in the game. Ah! 
head. Here, don't shoot me. I'm trying to make you all look sexy in the camera. And sadly, that player didn't take his hit and, in fact, took me out. Oh well, you win some and you lose some. Oh, shit. And just as I get respawned back in by the marshal, the game ends. Unfortunately, my team lost this one, the HVT made it to the crossroads. But we all had a really good day. A big thanks to all the staff at Predator Airsoft. Whilst they've been closed because of COVID restrictions, they've been working really, really hard, adding more buildings and doing lots of work around the site. If you haven't been to it, check it out. If you like this week's episode, please like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell. We've got loads more to come. Peace. <laughs>